Hi, I'm Scott Chacon. This GitCast episode will be about creating empty branches in your Git repository. So, in this case, we can see that I'm in my simple Git directory, and it just has a couple of files in it. And I've had a number of commits on this project already, and I want to create a new branch in my Git directory that has my website uh, code in it. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is run git symbolic ref and I'm going to move the head to a head a branch head that does not exist yet. So in this particular case I'm going to do website because I'm going to end up putting all the HTML for the static website for my site there. And then I'm going to run git rm for everything that's in my current directory to remove it from the index. So I'm going to clear out my index so that my first commit into this new uh, branch is completely empty. So I'm going to remove all the references in the index and I'm going to remove all the files. So now you can see that I have no files. And then if I run git status, you can see that again, I have nothing in my index right now. Nothing's going to be committed. So I'm going to run a git commit allow with the allow empty flag so that I can do an empty commit into my new branch to get it started. So I'll just do initial website branch. And now you can see that there's a commit there. And I'm on the website branch, and there are no files in my current directory. Now, if I start to create my website, so I'm going to do an index.html file and just put a couple of HTML tags in there to get an idea of just saying that this is my static website uh, content. Okay. The Git project actually does this if you check out um, the git, if you clone the git source code, they actually have a documentation branch that is, that's bare that, that has just documentation in it, not the source code. So I'm going to add this index.html file uh, into my new branch, and I'm going to commit that. And now if I run git status, I can see that my branch is clean, right? And I can check out the branch, and I'm on my website branch as well. And I can go back to master, and now if I look on my master branch, I still have all the original files I had in my master branch. And if I check out the website branch and I go back, I can see I just have that website in there. So that's how you keep two different types of content in two different branches in one Git repository.